This is about space. America's return to space. With news and information on the U.S. Manned Space Program is your host of About Space, David Denault. Soon and very soon, American astronauts will return to space on American rockets launched from American soil. Vice President Pence, and welcome to our program. Today, Vice President Mike Pence and the National Space Council's role and its historic roots that go back to the earliest days of NASA when the agency was established in 1958. Next on About Space Today. Don't think of taxes and accounting as being a problem. I use Hometown Tax and Accounting Services in Cartersville, Georgia, and for all of your financial needs with years of valuable experience, they deal with estate, trust, tax planning services, and be sure to like us on Facebook, Hometown Tax and Accounting in Cartersville, Georgia. Are you ready to fly away on a dream vacation? For cruises and all-inclusive resort vacations, call D&D Cruise and Tours at 877-747-8631. That's 877-747-8631. And see us on Facebook, D&D Cruise and Tours, where your dreams become a reality. One of the roles of our vice presidents has been to lead the National Space Council, to advise the President on America's space policy and strategy and the nation's long-range goals for space activities. While at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the Vice President said America will lead once again. And today, I come to assure you, the men and women of NASA and all those at this gateway to the stars, where the aspirations of the American people have taken flight, that under President Donald Trump, America will lead in space once again. You know, I can't think of a better place to deliver this message than here at the Kennedy Space Center. Named for a president who challenged America to undertake, as he said, the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. The Kennedy Space Center is the heart and soul of our nation's space program, where science fiction has become science fact for generations. Here, the crew of Apollo 11 set sail for the sea of tranquility on the moon. Here, you launched America's space shuttles and America's astronauts to orbit this blue marble. Here, the Hubble Space Telescope, the New Horizons, and so many other technological wonders lifted off from Earth to give us a glimpse of our fellow planets, the distant stars, and the infinite galaxies that are our window into our very past. And here, from this bridge to space, our nation will return to the moon, and we will put American boots on the face of Mars. Then the Vice President praised the spaceport. I'm particularly excited to see the increased collaboration with our burgeoning commercial space industry, so much in evidence here at the Kennedy Space Center. In fact, Kennedy Space Center is proof that public and private sectors can achieve more by working together than they could ever achieve apart. This center is today the world's premier multi-use spaceport, and that truth will only continue to grow. In conjunction with our commercial partners, we'll continue to make space travel safer, cheaper, and more accessible than ever before. Toward human space exploration and discovery for the benefit of the American people and all of the world. Vice President Mike Pence at the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you for joining me as we explore America's return to space. Next week, Mr. SpaceX, Elon Musk. For launch dates and more, see us on Facebook. I'm David Denault, and this has been About Space Today.